I want to make a video here on uh, this little build that I did. Uh, I'm going to talk first about like what I've uh, built here, the uh, the subject, and then after that I'll do a review of the actual kit itself. The kit is the Trumpeter BTR 80A APC and the item number is 01595 so I built this kit for uh, this marine commander his name is uh, well his call sign was Stuna and uh, we mostly know him just as Red Backpack Man there's uh, some videos I've put up video on my channel before and uh, as far as I know, he was killed uh, in the fighting in Ukraine. He was uh, the main Marine com commander during the Battle of uh, Mariupol. And I've depicted him here. I don't know the actual Marine battalion, if it was the 155th or who the actual battalion that he commanded uh, was. So I have him depicted here with... Uh, another officer going over uh, strategies or whatever from the um, from the battle in I can't remember the actual date of it but from the special military operation and so I'll show the uh, various characters here and this vehicle is a BTR 80A I don't know if they're actually in service. I don't think I've seen an actual 80A. All of the ones you see now are BTR 80, um, they're BTR 82. I, th I think it's 82. I don't know if it's 82A or not, but the BTR 82s anyways. And the difference between an 80 and 82 is you'll see behind the uh, gun on the, the deck here. There's a little box on there, which I think is actually a fume extractor for the main cannon. And then the the easiest way to tell is there will be two little tubes that are on top of the exhaust here. And I think those tubes, I'm pretty positive that they're extensions for the uh, exhaust, which is like right here, the, the uh, filters, the... Uh, they stick on here for uh, fording in the water and you'll see them if if you see them in the water they've got those uh, stacks on there and I think they just house them in that uh, tubing on the outside of the vehicle I don't know if older vehicles they might have stored them inside or something and they just rearranged it I added the uh, the tarp to it Basically everything is out of box other than the, the say the tarp, the storage, and the uh, figures. So it's just like this. I'll try to zoom in on it. That's my figures. And some of the details on it. And it has a full interior. And there's more shots there. The BTRs that the uh, the Marines use, they seem to be painted up in all kinds of different camouflage patterns. Like they have the base, like they have the base um, green color, and then this one here I've depicted with just the brown camouflage on it but sometimes you'll see them with like a dark green sometimes they're kind of really elaborate like multi-colored patches on them and different things and I'm guessing the crews have sort of like leeway to uh, 
paint whatever they like however they want to paint their vehicles whatever crew they they can paint it how they want there doesn't seem to be much uh, like uniformity in the vehicles because they look completely different sometimes they have no camouflage on them at all and it's just left green so I decided to pick mine with the uh, just the, the basic brown uh, camouflage over the green and so when you look at these vehicles and you see the uh, instruction sheets telling you to paint them a certain way unless you're doing a actual specific vehicle really you can paint them however you want and it's not incorrect so I thought I would just make that note now as far as the um, the kit goes like it's a very um, it's it's quite simple for a full interior kit like it's not really a full interior you don't get the engine in it and it's like the the parts inside are not that heavily detailed they're good for like these open doors and things um, what you would see from them those pieces are in there but they're not super highly detailed and the uh, the upper fit to the bottom is kind of hard like I recommend leaving the wheels off when you actually fit the two halves together and also the tires are kind of loose they're kind of loose fit to these rims they don't like they don't fit right on they seem quite loose they're detailed enough I, I suppose if you wanted to replace them with a resin part or something it might be the way to go but I, they're still usable now for products that I use on here um, I always paint my uh, Russian vehicles in the base Mr. Hobby 303 that's what I always use as a base and then um, I dull coat it after that because it's it's a semi-gloss paint like, I suppose if it was a brand new vehicle off the line or something you could leave it in the semi-gloss but I always flat coat it and I don't really have a preference for flat coats I used the industrial uh, splash mud and the just the uh, the thick mud that's what I used here and it, it seems to be okay like it gives you that sort of grittiness to it and uh, I th I'm think I used pigments also like a light brown sort of pigment and uh, so the the build the building of it is um, it's a it's pretty good like it's a pretty good kit and a, like really you don't have any other choice for any other kit it's it's far ahead of the the dragon the old dragon kit it's not even there's no comparison between the two this is obviously the better one to get uh, another part that's confusing in the instructions is this piece here the the actual fitting of these little uh, they're actually photo etched and you have to bend them which is kind of hard to, it's it's hard to get them uh, uh, to properly bend them but I mean it's doable and that was the on the other concern same with these pieces back here which have the disease on them it's very hard to bend them because you have to bend them round there there isn't like a, a score in the photo etch piece so you can easily bend them that's really hard to do I wish they would have done them in plastic instead of photo etch because I, I think they would look better even in plastic um, I can't see any other other problems I have a lot of other pieces uh, the, the ropes and the, like the tow ropes and everything all of that was perfect easy to um, it was easy to do those to cut them and build them and uh, the gun also the gun has the uh, the muzzle of it is open so really it was a good uh, it was a good kit to uh, it was a good kit to build and um, I, I enjoyed this project so really there's uh, not much else to say so Thank you for watching.